Hello, I'm Ron Marinchin, Coordinator of Music Ministries at Trinity Lutheran Church in Ashland, Ohio. Today is August 14th. Let us use together the responsive prayer 2, called the Suffrages for Evening, on page 164 in the green LBW, page 164. It's very similar to the page 328 in the ELW, just a few words different. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray the prayer our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us confess the faith which we hold in common, using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Today is the second Friday in August. Let us consider Psalm 32 a reflective or meditative psalm. It's not a lament, but it's not a praise psalm either. In Psalm 32, David ponders and reflects upon the forgiveness of our sins. The Apostle Paul picks up on this theme in the New Testament letter to the Romans, when in Romans 4, Paul is trying to prove that being justified apart from works is not something new. He references this psalm. He goes back to the justification that Abraham experienced and then quotes this psalm as proof that David knew what it was to have this, or to have his sins not counted against him, but rather righteousness accounted to him. Psalm 32. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you at a time of distress. The rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. 
I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, whose temper must be curbed with bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, day and night our sins are before us, and we can find no relief. We confess to you, O Lord, that we have strayed far from you and turned our backs on your love. Turn us again to you and lead us in the way of repentance, that, held in your mercy, we may always stay near you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God of all peoples, your arms reach out to embrace all those who call upon you. Teach us as disciples of your Son to love the world with compassion and constancy, that your name may be known throughout the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world, brought low by disease. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have this day so graciously protected us. We beg you to forgive us all our sins and the wrong which we have done. By your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this coming night. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.